<coughs> How are you all doing? Good, excellent. Right, um, today I'm going to talk to you guys about how we move uh, the driver training industry forward using technology. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Michael Carr. I'm the Managing Director of Go Rody. Um, and I want to start today with a few questions about technology. Um, who here has a smartphone? If you can raise your hand. Oh, oh, everyone, shock. Uh, right, okay, and uh, who here has used a social media platform before? Okay, um, pretty much everyone. Uh, and who here uh, for your driving school or um, their, their, school, their business uses a diary management app? Right, not everyone. So that is about, that's about uh, maybe 40%, 30, 40% of the, of the room. Interesting. So the reason I ask that is technology these days is way more common than it used to be. So if we rewind 15 years ago, not everyone in this room would have a smartphone or have used a smartphone. Uh, if we rewind that time again, no, nowhere near as much would have been used in social medias. Um, and it just shows you how over time it comes more and more commonplace and more people adopt it and get used to it and come on board. And why, that, why that's important is uh, your customers, um, they learn technology at a very early age. They learn technology before they can walk. So they understand how to use a tablet and how to use touch screens before they're actually able to walk. Uh, and that is the type of people that you are teaching. So it's worth bearing in mind that they have been brought up with technology their entire life. So they've went to school and had tablets and laptops. They've always booked online for their, their food and their hotels. And when they come to get in the car with you, they might expect to have some sort of technology aspect to, uh, to that part of their life as well, because it's so prevalent uh, all over their life. So before we get carried away, I'll just give you a quick intro uh, about me and uh, what I'm about. Um, so um, I'm from Gorori, and what we're about is we've got a core mission, one simple statement that focuses what we do, and that's to improve the quality of life of driving instructors. That's what we're about. That's, that's, that's what we are aim to achieve and the way we do that is uh, we have a few services. We have uh, our Go Road Pro app, which is about giving you time back and uh, like helping you manage your business, reducing last minute cancellations. And we also have something that's called our Association Hub, which is um, which is for like um, it's a free tool, completely free for aso local associations to help them manage our members and manage payments. And it's stuff like that we do to give back to the community, to give back to driving instructors to to help improve the quality of life. So at the end of the day, our success metric is to help you guys have a better life, and that's what we're about. So just so you know who we are, that's, that's our background, and it's, it's a technology, where we come from is from a technology background, so we understand tech. Um, like, um, I, I worked at Amazon for, um, for over a year uh, building uh, technology for millions of customers, and our app developer uh, built the BT Sports app, so like, we know technology. So, Back to uh, tech. Today, I want to talk about three. Uh, th I'm going to give you three main stories of, of like when I look back at technology and how it improved my life, and we'll see how maybe we can take ideas from that to adopt to our own industry. <coughs> so, Uber. Um, I want to start with that, and I want to kind of say I don't agree with Uber's company principles and the way they treat the drivers. I'm not a fan of gig the gig economy but I do love their technology and how it improves consumers' lives. Um, and a really perfect example of that is in 2018 when I traveled to Amsterdam. <coughs> I, <coughs> uh, when I went to Amsterdam, I arrived and uh, I was there for a work trip and I was like, okay, I need to get to my hotel. So I walked out the airport and it was like, do I get an Uber or do I get a taxi? So I got a taxi. Um, I, I pulled up and into the taxi and I said, go into this hotel, it's called this, I'm going here, here it is on the map, like, take me there. Um, and I was like, great. <coughs> so he starts driving and about maybe like seven, eight minutes into the ride and I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's my hotel. And he keeps driving and I'm like, he'll know where he's going, he'll know where he's going. 
and then eventually I had to interrupt him like, sorry, I think we're back that way. Uh, and um, he turned around and when we got there, the bill was 50 euros and it should have been a five minute drive. And now I'm in a foreign country and there was no way uh, he was going to change his mind on that. And as much as I tried to bargain with him, he was like, no, you said that. And I was like, oh, I didn't say that. I said this. Um, and ultimately, I was 50 euros down. Now, that was, I think we'd all agree how frustrating that is. Uh, it was a really frustrating experience. Now, if we replay that same scenario with Uber, I would go out of the airport. I would have picked my drop-off location. I would have known how much that trip would have cost me. I would, have, uh, I would know how uh, long that trip would be. And I would, zero stress. There would be zero stress. I walk into that taxi. And now, whenever I travel somewhere, I'm just like, I will opt for that. Because for, as a consumer, that is a far better and far less stressful situation for me to be in. And I think from that, uh, and I think the reason for that is it makes the whole transaction really transparent. And, and that gives us consumers a better experience. And I think that's a really fine example of how technology <coughs> makes our lives less stressful and, and ultimately better. Um, and I think it's things like that we should be thinking about how do we make our learners' lives better. Our, my next example is uh, Airbnb. Uh, has anyone here used Airbnb before? Yeah, so a, a, fair, a fair bit of you guys have used Airbnb. Hi. Uh, and uh, so I used it a few years ago. Uh, 2020, I used it at the tail, tail end of 2020. I went to Turkey for um, a, f a few weeks. Uh, and I went to this little remote village. And I, managed, I, I ended up booking it very quickly, last minute. And I managed to stay with a family uh, in this kind of mountain, in this kind of remote mountains. And it was really, um, really nice that the grandma would make me like uh, like Turkish food, and it was like it was fantastic, and um, it was such a nice experience. But I sat down with the the grandson who was managing the Airbnb. I was like, talk me through this, talk me through my request, and he's like, well, he's like, it's easy. It was like uh, uh, I got your request, and I got all the information, and it's all paid for, and all I needed to do was just like make sure it all lines up, and I make sure that everything's ready for you. I just, I, 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 I'm doing this because I love having people stay here. I love that interaction and, and that experience and sharing, sharing stories. Um, and this just does all the administration for me. I don't have to think about the money. I don't have to think the logistics. I just have to make sure I've got clean bed sheets and we've got food for you to eat. And it, it showed that his, the thing that he got enjoyment out was sharing that experience of like having people stay in, in, in um, his family's home. He didn't enjoy like managing finances, uh, scheduling, and all that aspect of it. So what Airbnb does, again, allows you to focus on the parts of the job that you love. Now, I doubt, does anyone here love your year-end accounts? Right, okay, yeah. <laughs> so, like, your year end, like, the, the part of your job, I assume, uh, and I, I think I'm, I would be right in saying, is about the progress your pupils make, the rapport you have with your pupils, that, that day to day. That's the stuff that you love doing. Like, make sure you're giving yourself enough time to focus on that part of the job and less on the, the last minute cancellations or making sure they're paid up and making sure that the, your, your, uh, your finances are in order. That's the, not the part you want to focus on. You want to part, focus on and come in every day, give them a great experience. And, that, and that's some ideas that we can take forward into this industry, is making sure that your, your day to day, your nine to five is focused, well, your eight to eight <laughs> is focused on the, uh, the part you absolutely love. And my last, it, like really clear example of technology improving our lives as, as, as consumers and businesses. It's Ticketmaster. Um, <laughs> I'm a bit iffy about this one, but I had a great experience uh, in March with this, and I just thought it was such a um, like Ticketmaster as a whole as a business. Not uh, not sure if I agree ethically with them, but like had a great experience in March. Um, I booked a gig, um, I'm from Dundee in Scotland, uh, and I booked a gig in Glasgow, which is a two hours away, uh, pretty much. And uh, me and my friends, and we were 
going to go to his band we want to see, but it was on a Monday night in Glasgow. And um, I was like, okay, that's fine, two hours, we'll come back. It could be fun. Uh, and then a few weeks later, the band announced a one-off show in Dundee on a Friday night uh, before that one. I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> Spent £110 on, on a Monday night gig that I don't really want to go to. So I was like, well, which one do I prefer? I obviously want the one that actually is in my home city and on a Friday night. Uh, so what do, and I was like, I was, I was annoyed and stressed. And I was like, well, I need to now manage this. So I bought the Dundee tickets just because I prefer that. And I thought I'm going to have to go on eBay or something like that. Um, and I went on Ticketmaster website and there was a, a resale button. I just tapped that, my tickets went up for face value because I don't want to make money out of them. I just wanted to like, just put them back up for face value and done. And that was it. And it was, they were bought by someone else and the money was put back into, the full money, including all my fees, were put back into my account. And I was like, isn't that a nice experience? I was like, I love that. And I just, it built, it, for me, it makes me think, it builds me confidence for using them again. So I, I'm like, I know there'll be less stress in using a service like that again, because I'm like, I know that I can, if I can't make it for whatever reason, I can just put them back on and it will be taken care of. And that, for me, as a consumer, technology is again improving my quality of life. And that's what it's about. It's about how do we get a better quality of life? How do we improve our businesses? How do we become more efficient? And, that, and that's what these services all do for us. Um, and what we need to be mindful of is how do we take aspects of these uh, technology companies, the, great, the good aspects, the aspects that actually do improve, uh, improve our lives and move them into this industry. Uh, and that's what we were really, really wanting to do um, with, with, our, uh, with Go Roadie and, and other, I know there are other businesses out there. I don't I'm no way why I want to be a, a sales pitch, but th there are other businesses doing that. And that's what we need to be doing. We need to be looking forward and taking those ideas to make our lives and your businesses more enjoyable to run and, and, and give you more time to do the stuff that you enjoy. Um, so what other technologies are there out there uh, that could impact our businesses uh, longer term? There's GPS, um, which is, you, like we use maps every single day of our life, which is so commonplace now. And that's something that we could be using for for um, for our apps uh, in this industry is uh, this is where you are this is your pickup location um, th these that's a, a very clear example of future te uh, a technology that is now widely adopted and will become even more adopted in this industry as we use it for pickup locations for your your uh, learners and your drop-offs um, the other other things that we should be mindful of is other trends that are emerging like if we not not just in in a um, in the diary management space or the the instructor space but what are your pupils doing at the moment what technology are they using and TikTok is one of them like it's the most popular social media uh right now and it's uh and if you go on TikTok I, I don't know if uh, you know as are, are any views on TikTok Okay, the younger ones, okay, excellent. But I, I don't know if, um, I, I've seen certain instructors go on TikTok to like give seminars to, to learners about theory. You go and uh, there's, um, there's a, 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 a few instructors who every morning, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. will go live on TikTok teaching theory. And, it's, uh, and there's like all these sorts of things that are emerging because there are millions of pupils on that app every single day. And it's, it's to be mindful of wh where are your people spending time? And do you want to, if you were to, if any of you used to advertise on Facebook or, or Instagram, that's not where your pupils are anymore. Your pupils are now on this platform. And it's, it's to be mindful of, you're, if you're ever looking for new pupils or that, and you're thinking about online advertising, that's where to do it, because that's where they are. And, and there's uh, tons of instructors that utilize that like Francis Noakes um, from Diamond School TV, he, he utilizes that so much, fantastically. And, and if anyone wants advice, he, I'm sure he'd be happy to give it. Um, route tracking uh, is, is something else that, that is, is, um, will, be very, will be utilized in this industry more and more. So like, you can be able to track your routes. Uh, if, uh, does anyone ever use route tracking software previously? Probably on WhatsApp. WhatsApp, okay. 
Yeah, so like uh, with this, uh, I know that test routes can be tracked or, or, or like if, if, for example, you were to be, you wanted your pupil to do private practice, wouldn't it be nice to know what route they did? And then for you guys to be like, okay, how did you get on with this street? How did you get on with that? Because by, by the time they get in your car, that might, have, that might be out their window, uh, be out their head. But also, mileage tracking could be utilized here. Could, uh, like, do you guys track your miles? Yeah? Like, and then at the year, year end, you're having to claim on, on how much fuel you spent. Well, that can all be done with a simple online calculation by a provider, perhaps. Like, uh, that's definitely something that maybe some companies are looking at. Uh, but, like, uh, these are the sorts of technologies that, well, again, makes your year end just much easier. It's like, I, I, didn't, I didn't know how much money I spent during my work hours. Oh, tap of a button. That's how much money I spent. Uh, that's how much fuel I use in work hours. That's how much I can claim on. And, and having that, uh, being able to be evidenced to HRMS or HMRC, uh, all, all done for you without you having to, to worry or think about that. So what, how else can we apply these sorts of lessons uh, to, to industry? And if we look back at the Uber example, they're really about giving transparency. Now, we've obviously got Go Rory Pro screenshots here, but there are other providers. I'll, I'm, I'll, I'll say that openly. Um, but like, giving them your, their progress uh, in the hands so that when they're speaking to their parents, they're, they're like, how are you getting on? And they don't just shrug. <laughs> they could show them how they're getting on in, in, uh, in their lessons. And they could show, this is what my instructor's saying and they can have a better conversation with their parent. And um, given them the, uh, that information, such as when their next lesson is, uh, does, as instructors keep telling us, when they get texts almost every week from pupils saying, when's my next lesson? Even though it's pretty much the same time every week, but they still text and ask for it. Uh, so given them that on, on their phone, something they're using every single day, Give, it makes their lives better, gives them more transparency, gives them a little bit more control, and they'll buy into the, the experience a little bit more. Because again, they're used to that. They're used to that experience. They're used to using Deliveroo and Uber Eats every single day. They, they, that's what they've been brought up on. Um, the other example is um, how we can stream, like look at the Airbnb example I gave earlier. And we, something we've built uh, is uh, our inquiry manager. Now, this is, again, looking at that and how do we give you more time back? And one of the biggest uh, pain points we heard was around dealing with my phone just keeps pinging. I keep getting new messages, keep getting new phone calls. Uh, it's since the COVID backlog, I'm just so busy. And it's dealing with all those people coming in and trying to slot them in, trying to work out when, they, when are they free and when am I free. So we built this so that each business gets their own unique link and instead of just saying, um, inst uh, what you can say is, hi, thanks for inquiring. Uh, can you please fill out this form? And I'll get right back to you. And it's just a short, really short link. And what they do is they fill out their information for you. And it's simply their, their, their contact information. Then we ask them, their detailed availability, so we get like really specific about when they're free, so you get that information, and we get then uh, their their um, previous experience, uh, pickup location, and have they got a provisional? Because if they haven't got a provisional, then you're going to be wasting your time. If uh, if then it's have they got a theory test? When does that theory test expire? And have they got a practical test booked? Because every single person in this room knows that's a red flag. Whereas they, the people is just filling out information because they're like, oh, I've got a practical, of course I have a practical test booked. And, but we all know that's something that you don't really want to have to, to deal with the stress of that. So you get all that information up front and you could accept it, decline it, or you can even, uh, if, you're, if the availability doesn't add up, you can just say like, I'll add them to my waiting list with a tap. And then that waiting list is automatically managed with technology. So that we know when they found it, if, if they find another instructor, we find that out for you on your behalf and you're informed. That way, you can focus on the day-to-day -day or the focusing on, on giving the pupils that great experience. 
And ultimately, that is what we're, we're, we're trying to do here. We're trying to look at the technologies in the future and technologies that are being adopted by these big companies because they're, they're well tested. They've been tested by millions and millions and millions of customers um, in, in, um, in these huge tech companies. In fact, Uber delivered 5 billion journeys in the US just last year. So that, those ideas are well tested. Let's bring them to this industry and move our industry forward using them with, with like services that we offer or other services. There's, there's uh, the other ones out there today. Like everyone, we need to be modernizing this industry, giving your pupils a better experience uh, because ultimately that's what they're coming to expect. Now, I think uh, I'll finish with um, earlier when I asked you guys, um, asked you guys if, um, if you've used the diary management app, like, and I think about 34% of you uh, are um, put your hands up. I imagine if we re fast forward five years in the future, I bet you that's much closer to 80, 90%. But let's see if I'm right. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Any of you guys got any questions on technology or? Sure, yeah. You mentioned like about, would you, obviously, we spoke yesterday, I don't know what you've got currently like in plans to build. Would you be able to put in somewhere like that, like a little checkbox or whatever, to sort of say, if practical test book, will you, are you willing to change? Yeah, we could do that. That's, I think that's a really good option. Um, like it's something that I've been kind of thinking about in my head a little bit, because um, it's that that being a red flag? It does, yeah. It, it so, you say transparency, yeah. Needs, hang on, I took you on based on the fact that you yeah. agreed. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, no, that's something definitely we can look at. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, uh, that's, that's fairly easy to do as well. So, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Sure. One more question. When you said uh, they're going to waiting this, and if they find another instructor, yeah. they manage you. Do they have to find the instructor for you? No, 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 no. We, so So when they when uh, we when we take the, when we take that information uh, for you, that's your pupil. It's nothing to do with us. That's all your information. Um, when they, what we do is we because you have their contact information, we email them every uh, two weeks just to say, uh, sorry, what's your name? Habib. Habib, I was like, Habib is still really keen to get you started. Uh, we're just wondering, are you have you found another instructor? Are you happy to stay on his waiting list? And then it's like they, they have a, two options, and they say if they're if they found another instructor, we just notify you, and uh, if they we send them we just we send them every two weeks, and then if um, after six weeks we'll send them we've not heard from you in a while are you still want to be on Habib's waiting list, and if they don't respond to that within a week we kind of move them to an archive list and let you know about that, uh, that's that's how it works at the moment anyway. Yeah. Total Drive is an award-winning driving instructor app for independents, multi-schools, pupils and parents. The app includes a powerful diary, free lesson reminders, progress records, reflective logs and more. Total Drive is proven to help instructors earn more, work smarter and improve pupil pass rates. If you're a driving instructor, you need to try Total Drive by starting your completely free 30-day trial at www.totaldrive.co.uk.